Hello and welcome to this edition of uh, the Evening Review. My name is Tewan Jabela, your host for tonight. Let's have a look at uh, the front page of today's Namibian Sun. This segment uh, today we are uh, honored to welcome back uh, a guest that we had here some months back uh, is uh, former Prime Minister Nas Angola who is uh, also a veteran of the ruling party Swapo. Welcome back uh, to the show. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Happy to be here. <laughs> yes. I, I want to engage you uh, 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 former Prime Minister on uh, something that you have commented quite publicly about uh, recently and that was the SWAPO introspection meeting that took place recently. Um, you wrote an article uh, in the Namibian just on the eve of this meeting and you say that uh, the introspection will only be meaningful if it's honest, genuine and truthful. Were your expectations met in that regard? Not at all. Uh, what happened? Why, why not? Well, in the first place, uh, these are people of the same mind who invited each other just to soothe their egos. And that is what? It was like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever the outcome there, uh, I don't think that it will be implemented, whatever the, the conclusion they reached. Mm, mm, mm. But uh, the truth remains that uh, our heritage, which is the Swap Party, is being destroyed. In what sense is the heritage being destroyed uh, from a Prime Minister? Well, we had the Swap Party. Then somebody came up with an idea of uh, of Haram or something, and uh, the whole culture of Swapo was forgotten, put aside, and uh, the culture of Harambe became the new Swapo, and that is what is destroying the party. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the if 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 that is in the reference to the 2017 Congress. Uh, when uh, uh, there was a team, Team Harambe, on which uh, President Hagi Gengob and his slate uh, 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 contested, you, you also belonged to a different one, also called Team Swapo. Uh, so Team Swapo, just Swapo, the original Swapo. Uh -huh. It's only the word which was added, team. Mm -hmm. We were defenders of a Swapo culture, Swapo history, Swapo ideals. Mm -hmm. It's Team Swapo. Because we saw that these ideals are being watered down, forgotten, and the new culture was developing. A culture which led to what we are witnessing now, the fish rot mm. saga. Mm. The, the fish rot saga you, you also commended, I think, uh, I think I've read something in the papers. Um, when you guys were at Congress in 2017, uh, did it occur to you in any manner that somehow, because the, there are allegations now that of course the, 
the that Fishra somehow funded part of the activities of the Congress. Did you get any such sense in any way during that time? The sense of money being exchanged was there, but we didn't know where that money came from. That was very clear at that point. Mm. Of course, uh, w w what actually happened uh, is this that uh, many of the young people who are attending the, the Congress, these were people who were looking for jobs. Mm. These were people who were not employed anywhere, many of them. These were people who could easily be enticed with gifts or with money or whatever the case may be. Mm. They didn't have the actual swap ideals of service, public service. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that. So mm. anybody who had something to offer, uh, they were takers. Mm. Some of us, as a matter of principle, I will not buy a political a political position. It's a matter of principle. Mm. Because I joined politics to save the people. If people think that my service is not needed, that's fine for me. Mm. I will not complain. I think at the, at the beginning of, the, of, the, of this introspection meeting, this very article that I'm reading out for you was, was also either read or cited. Yes, it was, it was read there. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, Comrade uh, Genkop uh, quoted some paragraphs there, yes, yes. agreeing that it's true, we are all, you know, children of a Swap party. Mm. Swap is our history, it's our legacy, it's our identity, and all that. He did that, uh, but uh, it ended up there. Mm -hmm. Why should you read my, my article when I'm in town? Why don't you say, Comrade, you put forward these ideas. Come with the form the, the introspection meeting. Mm. What you what you hope these ideas will uh, will will will, will, will result, result into what mm. what what change do you think it can come about? Mm, mm, mm. That could have been a gesture. Yeah, yeah. So that courtesy was not extended to you. No, it wasn't. It was not. But I'm happy that they read the article. Yes. Yeah, and I thought that Comrade uh, Age allowed the article to be read. He was prepared to engage. Mm. There was no engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things, uh, former Prime Minister, that is being um, that was being said at the time of the introspection meeting, I think someone, I think it was the president himself, in his speech there. There was a, a strong sense in his message that uh, that a lot of people are not letting go the events of 2017. Uh, essentially, to say that those of you that lost at Congress keep, you know, uh, talking about that subject uh, and, and not really allowing the winners to lead. Uh, are, are you guys uh, that group uh, bitter losers? Well, it's up to your interpretation. There are two lines of uh, propaganda going on, being peddled by th those who claim that they won the 2017 Congress. First, they call us names. Ah, Sabindi syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Bad losers. Yeah. Tribalist. What sort of names? They call us that. Mm. We don't call them names. We are just quiet. I don't know why, why they want us to go and, uh, and crawl in front of them. Mm. I cannot crawl in front of uh, Ondonga chief if he allows me to do so, as we used to do traditionally, <laughs> not to any other person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you recognize your, your, your king more than you recognize the president of the country, or what is this? That's a tradition. 
It's not a question of recognition. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural thing. I hear you. Yeah. Now, again, you, you, you're saying that you were not invited there. Um, of course, a lot of you in particular, uh, the, the names that have popped up uh, most of the time during, since then, was that uh, it, it's, your, it's your name and particularly of uh, Pendukeni Vulaitana, who was the former Secretary General, you being uh, a former Prime Minister of the country, there's a strong sense that at least the two of you should have been invited. I don't know whether uh, uh, Pendukeni was invited. But do you also share that sentiment that somehow, at least at, at that level, the ought to It's, it's not a question of Nasa or Comrade Pendukeni Vulaitana. It's a question of saying there are these stalwarts of the struggle. It, you know, these stalwarts have something to contribute. Uh, the way, the way uh, things are done now, like this politics of stale, slate, the politics of, of the slate, that is actually political apartheid, new political apartheid in the party. In the party, we have a culture of comradeship. We don't sideline side, side each other. Mm. We give each other chance. If you go through, you go through. If you don't go through, you don't go through. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It has been like that all along. But once you, you, you start discriminating, then you are creating a problem. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you are telling another person, I don't want you. Yeah. It's no more a comrade. That person is no more a comrade. Now, I had a couple of weeks ago on this show, I had uh, one of the attendees of that meeting, and that was uh, Mr. Lazarus Jacobs. Mm. And uh, he was saying that. He attended this what? <laughs> Special guest. Special guest. Special invited guest, I think that was the... So, it's a, it's a, it's it become a family thing or a, 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 a friend, th friend thing. It's no more a party of everybody. No, but, but he, he, he was... Uh, he is a member like yourself in the party. And... Uh, I'm not sure whether he's a stalwart. <laughs> stalwart. It was not a meeting of stalwarts. It should be a meeting of Star Wars, <laughs> if you want to reclaim Swapo. <laughs> it should be a meeting of Star Wars. <laughs> okay, no, 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 yeah. no, okay, fair the enough. The veterans. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So he was saying that um, it is not the first time that uh, the concept of slate politics, the, the concept itself, uh, maybe the name is pretty new in Swapo, uh, the, the, the labeling of it. But he was saying that um, he, he was referring, for example, to 2004, when you yourself contested for the position of uh, was it vice president, 2014, uh, 2004, you, your, your mentor, the man that you call your mentor a lot, same name at the time, um, handpicked, if you like, nominated uh, uh, President, president Pohamba as his candidate. Was that not the same style as uh, President Gengob is doing, did now in 2017? Far from it, far from it. <laughs> in far, what far, way? far from it. In what way? The Swapo leadership met. And the uh, Comrade Nyoma made it known that he's going to retire. Uh, what is the way forward? The, the leadership decided we should uh, allow two comrades, I mean three comrades, to, to, to stand for, for the vice presidency. Then, Sam Yoba said, no, that's fine. I had a candidate myself. They said, okay, you come with your candidate, you are just a member like other members. And other members can also come with other candidates. That was agreed. It was not something Comrade uh, Sam Nyoma just came up with. It's something which was dis discussed and decided collectively mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the uh, 
Now, when you say that uh, in this article also that uh, Swapo needs to re retrace its steps and find out where it went off the rails, um, of course you said in the beginning that it was a, it was a, a gathering of like-minded people. Um, originally, really this thing, um, the origins of this meeting were somehow the performance of the party in last year's election where it lost its two-thirds majority and then of course the independent candidate phenomenon that also uh, uh, really contributed to what happened in that election to the party what would have been the best way in your view to really come out of that meeting as a not only a united front but also a party that is now stronger especially ahead of this year's election if you are a winner Yes, you, you claim to be a winner. You are supposed to be magnanimous. It's a winner. If you want to bring people around, not being vindictive. Mm -hmm. It is required upon you as a winner to be magnanimous. Pull everybody around. After all, you are a winner. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, create a comradeship, spirit, and then move on. Mm -hmm. But if you are a winner and you go on calling people names, what kind of a winner is this? Mm. Being vindictive, blackmailing others, uh, calling them, uh, uh, co 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 calling them uh, tribalist. Mm. If, if, if people were tribalist, how could they vote for him? How big is, is his tribe? Mm. If he thinks that he was put there by his tribe. Mm. That, is, that is not leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership is magnanimity. So it was not um, speaking of uh, alleged tribalism because the, the, the notion that is being uh, peddled around is to say that um, perhaps maybe it was maybe the maybe it originates from the construction of what was then called Team Swapo that uh, nearly everybody there was uh, from the same tribal group but uh, in your own case maybe you can't speak for everybody in your own case when you stood in 2017 what, what was that for i was trying to save the party because i saw that the, the the culture of the party was being destroyed mm. the party was made to be a ladder for people to climb to reach something mm. for their own for their own uh, self-empowerment. Mm. That's not the culture of Swapo. The culture of Swapo is service, public service. Mm. That's why people, young people, sacrifice their lives mm. during the bitter struggle for the common, greater public good. Mm. Mm. That was the idea. And some of us, we continue to hold that. That I don't go, I don't seek for public office because I want to become rich or I want to be to drive a, a specific car or to to, to wear a, some type of a suit or something it, that, that's not uh, some of us our, our concept mm. our concept of being entrusted with with, with, with with a public office is to save people mm. not yourself save people and not yourself the um, and that's the culture which was vanishing yes I, 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 I hear your argument. Now, the, one of the outcomes of, okay, so 2017 happened, 2019 happened, a new candidate, uh, intra-party candidate uh, stood against the official party candidate uh, that sideway candidate if i may call him that way dr itula was uh, expelled from the party he has now formed a new political party and we saw a few faces of uh, former party members uh, joining his new project um, is could that have been avoided in some way um, that the party really especially in these desperate times that the party hold on to what it has in terms of membership. Yes, if there was a, if there was a correct leadership, a magnanimous leadership, mm. 
it could not have happened. People were alienated by this politics of, uh, of, of slaves. It's alienation. That's actually a failure of leadership. Mm. When you have a party, people are running away from you. Mm. You can see that you are failing. You are supposed to bring people together. Yeah. yeah, it's a failure of leadership. But that is exactly the point that uh, Lazarus Jacobs was making on this show to say that uh, the aftermath of 2004 was exactly a mirror image of what is happening now. To say that. Uh, and, and no, 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 no. Let us not confuse history. I competed against Comrade Pohamba in the Idipo. When Comrade Bahamba became a president, he appointed me as a prime minister. That is leadership. Yes. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. He, he, he didn't become vindictive that you stood against me. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he still regarded me as a comrade, as a swap comrade. I hear you. Yeah. But that is not the sense I'm, uh, uh, that's not entirely the... Damage. No, 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 don't compare 2004 and, and, the, and, the, and the 2017. There's no comparison. No, the, no there are comp comparisons in one sense. And that sense is that... Um, the there were perceived alienation of people in 2004 too to say that um, there was there was paging there was uh, oh, perceived paging there was perceived uh, um, um, well the, of, of paging of perceived hibernators for example hibernators as they called them at the time it was the first time I had that, that term uh, myself at the time. Somehow, Th that was not done by Komodo Pohamba. Yeah, okay. F fair enough. It was not done by him. But whoever did it was... He, 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 was, he was in charge. If he wanted to be vindictive, he could have been vindictive. But he didn't. No, but for my Prime Minister, that's... Um, the, the, the point is, this is a swapo. It was a swapo. Uh, Pohamba was never president until 2007. That's two years later. Swapo still had a leader at the time. When these things were happening, their perceived uh, paging and whatnot, alienation, it was happening within Swapo itself as a party under the leadership of Sam Nyoma. Um, Pohamba only took over later, and when you're saying he made you prime minister, that was not the prime minister of Swapo, it was prime minister of government. So the party still had its issues. What happened after 2017? What happened to Comrade Pendukeni, the Comrade uh, Jerry Kanjo? What happened? What happened to Jerry? What happened to Hidipa in 2004? That was not done by Pohamba. <laughs> <laughs> no, same name was in charge. I'm saying yeah. people who were competing. Yes. People who were competing. Once you win, you have the responsibility to unite the, the people. Even those who stood against you. Yeah. Yes. That's your responsibility. That's the leadership. Mm -hmm. That is the magnanimity i'm talking about don't yeah. be vindictive once yeah. you are vindictive you you you, you, you are opening up yeah. a, a, a huge a, a, a huge gap in the party mm. because you are alienating people i hear you no yeah. no i think i think that is a fair point to say that the winner must embrace uh, the those that lost I, I i i i hear you now finally uh, former prime minister you are still you you sound like you are still very passionate about your party, you still want your party to go back to what you perceive as, as its former glory, glory days. Um, what, what, what is the way forward then? What is, it, what is still left of this current leadership to do to take the party forward? Because this year is an election year. We are seeing Again, the issue of uh, independent candidates uh, picking up because uh, a lot of young people do not see themselves. When, when people like yourself <laughs> continue to stand for political uh, positions, uh, they feel elbowed to the, to the edge. And uh, it looks like now the only way they see to really make, uh, to meet their political ambitions is to go the independent route and whatnot. And, and, and no, let us stand. <laughs> let us stand. <laughs> let, let us understand the, the core issues here. Yes. Let us understand the core issues. The core issue 
is not generational differences. It is not. The core issue is a party swap being poisoned because people think that if you get a position, you become rich. Mm. That's the fundamental issue. It's not more the service. Not more the service to the people. Yeah. Not more the public good. This is, this is a competition for resources now. Mm. That's what's happening. No, if you want to get rich, uh, become a councillor, become a, perhaps a the member of National Council, or perhaps uh, become a member of a parliament, whatever. In the case you are appointed as a minister, then uh, you, 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 you know, that whole atmosphere, mm. you, you know, it's a competition of resources. That's what is happening. I got that. Yeah, that's what is happening. And that, 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 that culture of competition for resources was exacerbated by the Harambe culture. By the Harambe culture? Yes. Okay. No, uh, I uh, appreciate your thoughts, uh, former Prime Minister. I, but we can't deny, in conclusion, that uh, the generational uh, competition is there. There's a sense, really, among young people that uh, when you guys, ironically today I was watching a video on Facebook, someone shared it on Facebook. I saw you, Dr. Kangarit Kutuke Shiriange, I saw Hidipo Amtenya, uh, and someone That else. one in, uh, the, when we were in Angola? Yes. You when the late uh, Moses Karo was introducing us? Yes, you were seated and yeah. someone was uh, someone that couldn't be seen in the in the video was introducing and all of you guys were That is Moses Karo, yeah, exactly. Secretary General. You were young. Yes, we were young. You were young. And I'm still young. <laughs> you were still young. <laughs> young. I, I understand. Yeah. So, but when people like now, President Hake Genko is 79 now. You are 77. Uh, Vice President Bumba is 78. Uh, 79 also around about there. Uh, uh, Speaker of the National Assembly, Kachabib, is also going into 79. Obviously, the, the young people have a reason to be concerned that somehow there's a, a, there's a, 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 a firewall a firewall around, around these positions. Don't create problems where there are no problems. <laughs> there are problems. Those, don't scratch where there is it's not an issue. <laughs> there are problems. I have been in retirement since 2015. Then 2017, you bounced back. That's I bounced back in a, defense of the swap culture. And the, the swap culture. Yeah. <laughs> I am happy where I am now. I have never been happy in my life than I, now in my retirement. Yes. No, 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 no. Thank you very much. I think. Uh, you are welcome. <laughs> you have done just. So, the <laughs> I have no ambition to go to a, to, 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 a, to a public office. Yeah. I would rather enjoy my freedom my independence, my retirement, my citizenship. That is what I look forward to. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Prime, former Prime Minister Nasangula, thank you very much for... Thank you, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Good. That's a uh, swap of a trend. Uh, and former Prime Minister Nasangula speaking to us about, of course, reflecting on the recent introspection meeting of the ruling party, Swapo, and uh, sharing his views on what he thought should have been done better uh, as far as that gathering is concerned. I thank you for watching. Thank you.